Rudy, uh, I know you've been here now for, for a few weeks, but kind of how are you settling into things? How do you feel like the, the first start went? Just how has been the adjustment to Columbus? Uh, I feel very good. Um, I know, like you know, I know the, the staff, the way they want to play, so I'm used to it. But uh, yeah, I was a bit nervous because it's a big change for me, the club, the city, and very excited and in the same time. So I feel very good after this game. I feel more confident. I know all the group now, the players, so it's good. I feel very good. I'm sure you would have liked to have been able to play right away, but how much did the Leagues Cup, having that time to train as opposed to just stepping into games right away, um, like you said, you know the system, but getting to know your teammates, how much did that make an impact for you? Uh, yeah, so I was in Montreal like training by myself for two weeks because of the visa and stuff like yeah. this. Um, I was used to train like this in Montreal with the staff, but uh, this year with Montreal we train differently, so I needed like maybe one or two weeks with the group to work like uh, I was used to work. And uh, because the way they want to play is very demanding in terms of uh, intensity, so yeah, I needed two weeks and now I think I'm, I'm good. I feel uh, good, my body is good, so physically I'm good. Did it feel familiar stepping back into to what Wilfried asks of his center backs? Sorry? Did it feel familiar uh, to yeah. step back into what, what Wilfried asks of Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it's difficult sometimes when you change the coach. They don't ask you the same thing, so I'm back at what Will asked me to to do like a few years ago, and I'm very happy with it. When we talked to Wilfried the other day, and he was talking about getting you and getting you back acclimated to things here, and he said that everything's not exactly the same as it was when you had him in Montreal, but there are some changes. Has there have there been one or two things that you're like, oh, he's he's different in this way compared to when he was, when you were with him before? No, honestly, the principle are the same. Um, the quality is different here. We have more quality, so uh, it takes less time for him, I think, to put uh, what he wanted to do. But no, everything is the the same. Maybe some pattern different, but mostly it's the same. What was what were those two weeks like of having to train by yourself and trying to? I don't know, what, what is that like of kind of being in limbo almost for your like your own island? Yeah, it was uh, it was long. It was, it was long because uh, I was very excited to come here and uh, meet my uh, new teammate and the people in the club. But uh, I uh, I try to to train well and be ready uh, for for the training. And yeah, it was a bit long. What did you make of uh, the the atmosphere at Lowe.com? A couple of guys have talked about having played there before as, as an away player, but getting to play as a home home fan or a home player. How did you feel like the fans and everything impacted the games? Amazing. Honestly, I came for the, my, my first um, game against Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere was crazy. The fan was crazy. So I came here with Montreal uh, last year, yeah. but it was not the same. Uh, we had some uh, issue with the, the weather also. so. The, the atmosphere was not the same, but uh, I knew the fans are very uh, good in Columbus, so I was not surprised. But yeah, against Cincinnati, it was something uh, very good, and again this weekend, so good vibes, good okay. vibes. There seems to be a lot of depth at center back now, um, with you coming in, with Chiburko, yeah. Sean playing back there. What is that like in terms of competition every day? For those positions. It's good for the team, honestly. Uh, the, this is a good players, and we're gonna help each other. We're gonna help each other. It's an option for the the staff, the, the coach. So we just can improve and try to compete uh, healthy. How, how can I say healthy competition yeah. Yeah. between each other? So no, we have uh, young players, but very good players, talented players. So. Amazing for the coach. And I know you're focused on this Houston game, but I don't know if we'll talk to you. If you get to go back to Montreal here pretty quickly, what will that be like having just left there? Yeah, it's going to be well for me to, to play there with another jersey. <laughs> but uh, I'm very excited and 
I would see my family too, my friends, and I hope we're going to win there. Yeah. The, uh, having a clean sheet um, the other night and two in a row now and being part of that defensively as you're still kind of, like you said, learning your teammates and everything, what, what are some of the keys to continuing to build on that and, and try to you know, keep the other team from scoring? Yeah, it's good to start with a clean sheet uh, for myself, for the team, for everybody. But uh, we have to keep it. We have to keep defending forward. And it starts with the strikers. And we are doing uh, well for the moment. And we have to keep uh, doing the same thing. Uh, be focused on ourselves first. And uh, yeah, it's going to stay like this if we stay focused. Were you surprised at all when Wolfie left Montreal this offseason? No, no, I was not surprised. Uh, you know, Will now, and I think he deserve uh, he deserve uh, good things. And uh, Columbus, it's a good club for him. It's a good club for him. I think in terms of uh, everything, it's a step forward for him and uh, stuff. So, no, I'm not surprised. What was your reaction when you found out that they wanted to bring you here? Uh, I was uh, happy. Was happy. I knew that the staff uh, like me in terms of players and human too. But uh, yeah, I was very happy because it's a style of play that I really like and I enjoy. And uh, I wanted to be, I wanted to work with this staff again. So it was a, a good opportunity for me. What, what is it about the style of play that you like? Sorry. What is it about the style of play that you enjoy? We keep the ball. We we play football. Like we try to manipulate the the opposition, and we just don't play just to play. It's we have a purpose, and and yeah, you need to think. You need to play with your brain, and it's a uh, yeah possession ball. Possession ball. When you have the ball, you you have more chance to to more chance to to score. So I like it. Very like it. Talked about the depth at the center back position, and that there's a lot of young guys. Yeah. Are you excited to kind of step into that role of being the anchor there, but also helping these guys grow and get better as well? Yeah, I love it. I did it in Montreal too. I will not say it's my job, but like I, I love to to play with young guys. I love to talk with them. I love to. I was like this when I was young. I was watching the the, the older guy be beside me. So, and I learn from them. Then they learn from me. So. It's good. Does it's it help good. you improve a little bit as well? Because you kind of maybe see things a little differently when you're helping others. Yeah, it's helping me. I need to push myself too. I need to not be an example, but like, I don't want to be like, uh, I need to be good all the time. So, no, it's, it's perfect. Great. Thank you, Rudy. Thanks, Rudy. Thank you. Thanks, Rudy. Thanks, Rudy. Have a good day.